So wait, is high-speed rail back on in Texas? It's time for all the bells and whistles. Hello everyone, Bill Wilson, Editor-in-Chief of Railway Track and Structures Media, with a look at the top news stories we were following the week ending July 1st. It's always good to have someone of authority holding the money bag. After a long delay, California lawmakers finally released $4.2 billion in funding for the state's high-speed rail project. The funding was passed by voters in 2008. Governor Gavin Newsom signed the bill on June 30th. However, as a trade-out for the cash, an inspector general will be created for the high-speed rail project, which has experienced delays and cost overruns. California, however, is not just funding high-speed rail. Thanks to an unprecedented $97.5 billion state budget surplus, other rail projects will receive some much-needed financial assistance, like the Caltrain Electrification Project and the BART light rail line leading into downtown San Jose. As much as $3.65 billion will be given to track projects this year alone, and another $4 billion could spill out by 2025. The U.S. Department of Transportation issued a Notice of Funding Opportunity, announcing more than $573 million in available grant funding this year alone for the Railroad Crossing Elimination Program. The program will fund projects that create grade separations, such as overpasses and underpasses, as well as closures, track relocations, and improvement or installation of warning devices at crossings if related to a separation or relocation project. Planning, environmental review, and other preliminary design elements also are eligible for grant funding. FRA will evaluate project proposals based on their potential to improve safety by eliminating crossings or improving existing highway rail grade crossings, increase access to emergency services, reduce emissions, provide economic benefit, and hire locally, among other possible community enhancements. Taking care of overgrown vegetation might have helped the driver of a dump truck safely cross railroad tracks in Cheriton County, Missouri. However, the visual obstacle appears to be just one of several issues at the crossing, which was the site of a deadly accident on June 27th. The pickup truck never made it across, as it was hit by an Amtrak train and demolished. The impact caused the train, which was traveling from Los Angeles to Chicago, to derail. The driver of the truck and two train passengers were killed, and several others were injured. A steep approach leading up to the tracks, brush that has not been cut back in months, and the lack of signals and signal lights are all hazards at the crossing. One farmer said the approach leading up to the railroad tracks is about 9 feet, and another farmer said the dump truck stalled when it reached the top of it. The beleaguered Texas Central Railroad won a victory in the Texas Supreme Court, the first positive development since the railroad's former CEO, Carlos Aguiar, resigned earlier this month. The court decided that the planned railroad does have eminent domain as it ruled that Texas Central is indeed a company that will operate an interurban electric railroad. The rail company plans to build a high-speed rail line between Dallas and Houston and needs land to accommodate the 240-mile railroad. While many believed Aguiar's departure sounded the death knell for the railroad, the Texan reported the railroad after the departure of Aguiar said, quote, Texas Central remains open for business under its new management, is continuing to seek further investment, and is moving forward with the development of this high-speed rail project, unquote. <laughs> 